walk into the room and the provider has just ordered acetaminophen, 15 milligrams per kilogram by mouth for a patient that's 154 pounds. You look into the med drawer and find bottles of tablets that are 325 milligrams. Here's your question. How many tablets are you going to give? If your brain has just started scanning for formulas, pause. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to solve this safely and consistently using four-step dimensional analysis. No memorization required. We're going to walk through tablets, liquids, and even teaspoons. Because in real life, bed math doesn't just fit one size. Let's train that nurse brain and get started. Let's break down that first problem step-by-step step using our four-step dimensional analysis setup. We'll start exactly where every safe medication calculation begins. Step one, start with what's been ordered. In this case, the provider has ordered acetaminophen 15 milligrams per kilogram by mouth for a 154 pound patient. Because this dose is weight-based, we begin with the patient's weight. So we write the first part of our setup as a fraction, 154 pounds over one. Even though it may feel simple, this step matters because setting up your first value as a fraction keeps your math structured and consistent no matter how many conversions come next. Now let's move on to step two, add your first conversion factor. Right now we're working with pounds, but the medication is dosed in milligrams per kilogram. So we need to convert pounds to kilograms. To do that, we multiply by the standard conversion, one kilogram over 2.2 pounds. This lets the unit of pounds cancel out and brings us one step closer to matching the dose in milligrams per kilogram. Every conversion factor is a building block and canceling units is how you know you're stacking them in the right order. Let's move on to step three. Add the ordered dose. Once you've converted pounds to kilograms, we can now bring in the actual medication dose. The order was for 15 milligrams per kilogram. So we multiply by 15 milligrams over one kilogram. Notice how the kilogram units cancel out, just like the pounds did earlier. Canceling tells you that you've applied the conversion correctly and are moving towards the unit you need. Right now, we're sitting in milligrams. That's progress, but we don't give milligrams. Let's take it one more step. Step four, let's convert to tablets and solve. The medication on hand is 325 milligrams per tablet. So we add our final conversion, one tablet over 325 milligrams. This lets milligrams cancel, and now we're left with the unit we need, tablets. At this point, every unit we didn't want has been canceled. What's left is what we're solving for. Now let's solve using dimensional analysis. Multiply across the top, 154 times one times 15 times one equals 2,310. Multiply across the bottom, one times 2.2 times one times 325 equals 715. Now we divide 2,310 divided by 715 equals 3.23 tablets. That's the calculated dose. And here's your clinical decision point. Can you give 3.23 tablets? Probably not. Most likely, you'll need to round to the nearest half or whole tablet based on your facility's policy or the prescriber's instructions. Now let's try a liquid medication problem using teaspoons. The provider has ordered 300 milligrams of amoxicillin by mouth. What you have on hand is a liquid suspension that provides 125 milligrams per five milliliters. But here's the twist. The dose needs to be given in teaspoons, not milliliters. We're gonna use that four step structure again with this problem. Step one, start with what was ordered. 300 milligrams over one. Step two, use the concentration, five milliliters over 125 milligrams. Step three, 
use the conversion from milliliters to teaspoons. One teaspoon over five milliliters. Now cancel the units. Milligrams and milliliters cancel, leaving teaspoons. Now you can multiply across the top and multiply across the bottom. That gives you 1,500 over 625. Now divide and your answer is 2.4 teaspoons. So would you administer 2.4 teaspoons? Again, check if rounding is required. Now it's your turn to apply everything you've learned. The provider orders ibuprofen 10 milligrams per kilogram by mouth for a 132 pound patient. What you have on hand is 200 milligram tablets. Use the four-step dimensional analysis method. Start with the ordered weight, convert pounds to kilograms, apply the ordered dose in milligrams per kilogram, convert milligrams to tablets. Pause this video and solve it on your own. Then we'll walk through the full setup and final answer in the next slide. Here's the full four-step dimensional analysis setup. 132 pounds over one times one kilogram over 2.2 pounds, times 10 milligrams over one kilogram, times one tablet over 200 milligrams. Let's cancel our units. Pounds, kilograms, and milligrams all cancel, leaving tablets. Now solve it. Multiply across the top and bottom, and then divide. Your answer is three tablets. No rounding needed. This is a clean exact dose. The key takeaway, dimensional analysis keeps you accurate, no matter how complex the setup gets. You just completed multiple four-step dimensional analysis problems using tablets, liquids, teaspoons, even weight-based dosing. You didn't memorize, you just thought like a nurse. This structure doesn't only help you pass tests, but it helps keep your patients safe. In the next episode, we'll take on IV flow rates and start setting up problems that involve milliliters per hour and drops per minute. Subscribe to RN2 Professors and keep building your confidence, clarity, and clinical judgment one calculation at a time. Keep going, keep practicing, and always train your nurse brain.